Welcome to this Standard Bearers training video. In this video, we'll go through the basics of standard bearing from dress and equipment through to the various drill movements you may come across. We'll start with care and maintenance of equipment. Standard bearers should have the approved headdress, a sling, and a pair of white gauntlets. The standard itself should be kept in a clean and serviceable condition at all times, with the fabric showing no signs of fraying or damage. The pike shaft must not be damaged or warped. The sling, which is worn over the right shoulder, should be clean and not excessively worn in any part. The socket should be central to the wearer's body. No badges should be worn on the leather strap. Gauntlets are to be clean and in a good state of repair. It is strongly recommended that male standard bearers should wear a navy blazer, dark grey trousers and highly polished black shoes. Females should wear the equivalent. When applicable, full-size medals should be worn on all parades, ceremonies and services. Standard bearers should not wear commemorative or other unofficial medals. One official RAF Association badge denoting life, ordinary or associate membership may be worn. These may be replaced by 25, 50 or 60 year membership badges or by a national or area presidential badge. However, only one badge is to be worn. One Royal British Legion poppy may also be worn on the left lapel from the onset of sales until the conclusion of sales nationally. Only the official standard cap is to be worn. Tilted to the right so that the side edge is approximately 25 millimeters above the right ear and the front edge is approximately 25 millimeters above the eyebrows. Hair should be clean, neat and tidy. For males, earrings and other facial jewellery may not be worn. For females, one small, non-obstructive, plain yellow gold spherical stud may be worn in each earlobe at all times, except for when on parade. An official RAF Association tie is to be worn with a freshly laundered, pressed, plain white shirt without button-down collar. Next, we'll work through the ceremonial positions and drill movements. Drill movements should be executed smartly and quickly, with the time between each movement equivalent to two paces in quick march time. The head and body should be held erect at all times and the eyes should not follow the movement of the standard. Firstly, the order. For the order position, the standard bearer stands at attention with the pike and lower edge of the standard held in the right hand. The bottom of the pike should be placed on the ground in line with the small toe of the right foot. Standard bearer, dress standard. Whilst in the order position, standard bearers may be ordered to dress standards. With the left hand, the standard bearer should distribute the folds of the standard evenly either side of the pike so that the pike is covered and the association crest can be seen. Standard bearer, slope, standard. The slope position involves the same grip as the order but the pike is placed on the right shoulder and in line with the right side of the body. The forearm should be parallel with the ground. The standard should be allowed to hang naturally to cover the shoulder and arm. Standard bearer, carry, standard. The socket is grasped by the left hand while simultaneously raising the standard smartly in front of the body with the right hand and guiding the pike into the socket. The standard bearer stands at attention with the pike inserted into the socket 
and held with the right hand, which should be level with the chin and the thumb pointing downwards. The arm should be parallel with the ground, with the standard left to hang naturally. Alternatively, for those who struggle to point their thumb downwards, pointing upwards is also acceptable. Standard bearer. Dip. Standard. In the dip position, the pike is held in the upturned right hand, with the lower end held under the right armpit. The standard should lie flat on the ground to the right of the pike. The spike of which should be in front of and in line with the right foot. From the carry, the standard bearer lifts the pike from the socket with their right hand and angles the standard out to the right, lowering the standard in their own time. If there is a strong wind, a reverse dip may be ordered. Standard bearer, reverse dip, standard. This involves the same movement, but lowering the standard with the right hand to the left. Standard bearer, as an act of homage, prepare to dip, dip, standard. If a dip is ordered as an act of homage, the bearer bows their head when the pike reaches the ground. The last dip movement is the wet weather dip. Standard bearer, wet weather, dip, standard. If this is ordered, the bearer lowers the standard directly in front of their body, ensuring the standard is clear of the wet ground. Standard bearers may be required to carry out these positions in the following sequence. Standard bearer, carry, standard. Standard bearer, dip, standard. Standard bearer, carry, standard. Standard bearer, order, standard. The final drill movement is the port. The port position is an unorthodox drill movement which is proven useful when standards have been paraded into buildings with entrances of a restricted height. The pike is pushed forward to an angle of 45 degrees, with the spike uppermost. The left hand grasps the pike and standard, whilst the right hand is placed on the lower end of the pole to control movement. In practice, the port is performed on the march. Standard bearer. Port. Standard. Now, we'll look at marching. Standard bearer, quick, march. When marching quick time, which is 116 paces per minute, the left arm should be swung to shoulder height and the standard allowed to fly freely. Standard bearer, halt. When marching in quick time, the halt should be given as the left heel strikes the ground. A pace is to be completed with the right foot, followed by a short pace by the left foot. The movement is ended by bringing the right foot smartly in line with the left whilst bringing the left arm to the side. Standard bearer, slow, march. When marching slow time, which is 65 paces per minute, the left arm should remain at the side. The point of the toe should touch the ground first with no pause between steps. Standard bearer, 
Halt! In slow time, the halt is given when the right foot strikes the ground. A pace is completed with the left foot, and the right foot is then brought in line with the left. Thank you. That concludes this standard bearer's training video.